Remember back in the day, maybe three months ago, the conventional wisdom was Barack Obama, one term president, how is this guy possibly going to win re-election? Uh, he may as well start planning to write his memoirs now, maybe start a presidential library. Clearly this is a Republican year. What happened? Well, what happened is the polls changed, and journalists are addicted to polls. We are slaves to polls. So now the CW, as we call it here at Newsweek, has shifted. And now, of course, Obama's going to win a second term. It's a cakewalk. The Republicans have self-destructed. Boy, they have taken a golden opportunity, and they have just thrown it away. Well, not so fast. First of all, nine months, six months, it's a lifetime in politics. And those polls that are now looking good for Obama could just as easily go down. What would make that happen? Well, let's see. The economy, which has been kind of trending upward, people have a little more confidence, the unemployment rate, unemployment rate is coming down a little bit. Well, that might not continue to be the case. Unemployment could blip up, people could lose confidence in the economy, and if there's one thing that could be an uh, albatross around President Obama's neck, it is the state of the economy. Beyond that, situation in Afghanistan, not looking good. He uh, could take a lot of heat if more Americans there are killed, if it looks like there's no good exit strategy. There are other things that could happen. For example, the situation with Iran could get very tense. What if Israel attacks Iran? Foreign policy comes more into the fore. And then finally, here's the thing. Republicans have done a pretty good job of beating each other up. Santorum, Romney, Gingrich, all going at each other, all blackening each other's reputations, using those debates to throw those punches. And Obama has been floating above the fray. Yes, I know, in every single debate they say, we're going to repeal Obamacare, President Obama's in over his head, he's to blame for everything, including the heartbreak of psoriasis. But basically, it's become a demolition derby on the GOP side. Well, at some point, I don't know when, that's going to end. And at that point, you're going to have one nominee, let's say it's Mitt Romney for the sake of argument. The Republican Party will unite behind Romney or whoever it is, and we will see uh, concerted attacks against Obama. And suddenly, it's not going to be the president who gets to go out and cut ribbons at factories. It's going to be a president who's very much in the arena with a Republican nominee. That by itself is going to make a closer race. So all of you liberals who are just breathing easy, and all of you journalists who think the storyline has been written and the Republicans have blown it, you might want to hold your fire. This thing could change. It probably will change a dozen times between now and November. I'm Howard Kurtz.